Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be seeing indefinite integral by substitution methods. So directly I would begin up with the example and explain you how we could solve such questions. But first of all, why do we need a substitution method? Sometimes it sometimes we have complicated integration problems so to turn those complicated integration problem into the simpler ones we can make use of substitution method so we are going to make use of u substitution method so let's see an example the first question is integration of x square plus 1 raised to 50 2x dx now how do i do this i will consider let u is equal to x square plus 1 u is equal to x square plus 1 this i have considered as u now i will integrate the u with respect to dx so it will be du upon dx i am doing d by dx of u here also i will be doing d by dx so it comes as 2x okay now if i am keeping du at one side it would be du equal 2x dx so i have a proper substitution for dx 2x dx as du okay now my question becomes integration of u raised to 50 because this i have considered as u so it becomes u raised to 50 and 2x dx is what du now it has become much simple yes integration of u raised to 50 du so what it would be it would be u raised to 51 upon 51 plus c here it was 50 so 50 plus 1 and 50 plus 1 u raised to 51 upon 51 plus c i will have to again do the resubstitution so what is u u is x square plus 1 so x square plus 1 raised to 51 upon 51 plus c so this is my answer for the integration you have to identify that component which you will be taking for the substitution part here we had identified that we will be taking x square plus 1 as a substitution and then we solved the question and again we did the resubstitution so you need to identify that let's take another question integration of sine of x plus 9 dx now i will take this as u so let u is equal to x plus 9 when i do the differentiation of this with respect to x what it is d by dx of u equal d by dx of x is 1 and constant is 0 so i am having 1 here so therefore i get what du is equal to dx i have du is equal to dx so now my question becomes sine of x plus 9 is u the sine of u what is dx it is du so it is sine u du what is the integration of sine u minus cos u so minus cos u plus c but i will have to make a resubstitution so my answer becomes sine of x plus 9 dx is equal to minus cos x plus 9 plus c so this is the answer for the question taking a third question which is integration of sine square x cos x dx now what we need to take as x correct so let's consider so what we need to take as u so let us take u as sine x so what will be the integration what will be the derivative of this particular u equals sin x? It will be d by dx of u and the derivative of sin x is what? Cos x. Now, I can write du as cos x dx. Okay, so this is the du. Now, my question becomes integration of sin square x. So, sin x is u. So, sin square matlab u square. Cos x dx kya hai? cos x dx du hai so abhi hume kya find karna hai integration of u square du what is it u cube upon 3 plus c so therefore the integration of sin square x 
cos x dx is equal to this u is sin x na so it would be sin cube x upon 3 plus c let's take fourth question which is evaluating integration of e raised to root x upon root x dx now what we'll be taking as u so let's consider u as root x what is the derivative of this statement it is du by dx is equal to root x ka derivative is 1 upon 2 root x correct now here we, what we are having we are having dx upon root x correct dx upon root x we are having so du you can write as dx upon 2 root x but you don't want that 2 over here so we can send it here and make it 2 du equal dx upon root x so this can have a proper substitution now i will be substituting it so my question becomes integration of e raised to u dx by root x can be written as 2 du so this 2 is common so we can take it outside 2 as common this 2 is constant so we are taking it outside 2 integration of e raised to u du so the integration of e raised to u is e raised to u itself so it becomes 2 e raised to u plus c therefore the answer is integration of e raised to root x upon root x dx is equal to 2 e raised to root x plus c in this way you can try out many more questions i hope you would have understood it please like the video you can share it with your friends keep watching stay tuned for more such videos till then take care bye see you